All righty. Hello. Let's move this up. Let's try to get good. Gosh, it's not that. It's kind of dark, but hi, everybody. Welcome to Punish for Protecting. Um, go ahead and invite your friends list. I'm going to be having a guest on today. We have some special things to talk about. And uh, today the topic is about you. It's about you and you being able to live, to live this life that God gave you. And uh, we got some special uh, topics we're going to talk about today. Um, so as you guys are bringing on everybody, um, actually, a matter of fact, I think I'm going to take a five second kind of like a break here. I'm going to pull on this phone right now and I'm going to try to go ahead and invite some people um, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to invite some people um, while I'm waiting for my special guest to come on here. Um, trying to get this thing to work. I hope you guys are hearing me very well. Let's see who I can invite. Um, yeah, there we go. That should help. That should help right there. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I wanted to come on here today. I have a special guest coming on today, somebody you haven't seen in a while. So I think uh, those of you that have been following Punish for Protecting for, for two years now. What? Has it been two years? It's been a little bit over two years, hasn't it? Those of you that have been 17 to 18, 18 to 19, 17 to 18, 18 to 19, 19 to 20, yeah, we're getting, we're like over the two-year mark here. Anyway, those of you that are uh, following, that have been following, you're going to be really excited about this special guest that's coming on. Um, and we got some some stuff that we want to do to kind of energize you and get you motivated. And I want to just kind of uh, let everybody know that this is not just about, it's not just about family court and CPS and foster care and forced adoption and, and medical kidnapping and all this crazy stuff that's going on. But we always bring it back to that because we bring it back to that because this is the main issue. This is the hub issue that's occurring in we're going to talk about. But we have other things that we're talking about. We're talking about life coaching. We're talking about you guys having the opportunity to live your life to the fullest. So many of you have been victimized. But so many of you that watch what we're even talking about or who we even are. And what punish for protecting means? You don't know. You might have just run across us right now and you're saying, who are these people? You know, what are they talking about? Oh, child protective services. That's not something that I would ever have to deal with. Never would I have to deal with that. Really? Well, we're all normal, very decent people. And we don't do things wrong, the majority of us. And we've had to deal with, you know, this, this sick system. And right now, part of this sick system is forced vaccinations. Hello, everybody. Hi, Holly. Hi, Chris. Uh, let's see who else is on right now. Hi, Carla. How are you? Let me give you guys some high fives here. I have a special guest coming on. Go ahead and invite your friends. I'm sitting in the car right now, and I figured I would do this live. Uh, maybe the lighting's not that great. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. No, lighting's not that great. Um, but as you guys are inviting people on, and I do have a special guest that's going to be coming on with me today. You know, you've seen us do this before. Uh, we want to bring a little joy to you guys today. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, I don't know what you'd actually call this. Um, some people have called this like a revamping. Uh, some people have called it, um, I don't know, just a, a change in gears, switching gears. Um, what we're doing is we are uh, taking Punish for Protecting to Phase 2. So we're asking you right now, as you guys, if some of you have been watching, you know that I was shadow banned. I didn't even know what shadow banning was until I looked it up. And basically what that means is they kind of block you from your normal audience watching you. <coughs> and gee, I wonder why, because we've literally put Congress on notice and there's so many other amazing things that are happening. And I am the supporter of those that are taking down the system. That's what I do. I cheerlead. I wish I had some pom-poms right now. Let me see if I can make some. Can I make some? Here, I'll use a hat. I'll use a hat as a pom-pom. Ooh, it's got a pom-pom. I cheer you guys on. Like Chris Hallett, who's on right now. Give me a C. C. Give me an H. H. Give me an R. R. Give me an I. I. Give me an S. S. What does it spell? Chris. Chris Hallett. How was that? Did you guys like that? All right. And Chris Hallett does the remonstrances, and he's kicking butt, and kids came home, and that's what we do. David Jose, I don't know if he's on right now, but let's do it for David. D-A-V-I-D-E, or no, duh, take that back. D-I-V-I-D, D, 
D-A-V-I-D. There you go. D-A-V-I-D. David Jose. David Slayer, right? He's getting kids home. He's exposing. There's my mystery guest. She's coming on. He's exposing, right? He's a viral sensation. And we get hit so hard. Like people go on Facebook and you'll see these like massive lives going on. And there's some that are great, like Diamond and Silk. 5,000, 6,000 viewers at a time. That's what we want to see, people like them speaking the truth, right? But then you got people that are talking about the creepiest things, and people are watching this stupidity. Come on, guys. So we've been shadow banned. We've been kicked out. We've got it where they, like, I mean, I got 5,000 friends and 5,000 followers and, like, 5,000 people wanting to be my friend on Facebook, and you're not going to tell me that there's 11 people watching. I find that hard to believe, not because I'm anything special, but geez, wouldn't you want to listen to me? I mean, come on. I'm talking about some important stuff here. Hi, Alana. That's my niece on there. Um, so listen, uh, you need to come on. You need to turn your camera this way so you can come on and be side by side with me. And uh, we got some announcements to make. There are changes. I, I've kind of explained it a little bit. There are changes being made to Punish for Protecting. I started a new group, and I'm actually going to be changing uh, one more thing with the new group. But it's from victim to victory. And it's where I want to help you guys. <clears throat> so many have been attacked and horrible things. Children removed. Okay, we change the terminology. It's not your children have, you've lost your children. You did not lose your children. You knew exactly where they were when they came in and stole them. You knew exactly where they were when they came in by gunpoint to harass you and harm your family. Listen, we are so close right now, but we have so much to talk about right now. Invite your friends list and my mystery guest, you need to invite yourself on here. You need to invite yourself on. Hang on. Where is she? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I see you. I'm trying to invite you. So get your butt on here. Get your butt on here. Hold on one second. Excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta get help. I gotta help. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry, folks. Okay, so where's my friend here? She's got to come on. Uh, you coming? All right, good. So, all right. So, the deal is that the group is called... Is that Linda? Hi, Linda. I see you up in the corner there. All right. So, the group that, we, that I started is called From Victim to Victory with Francesca Motto, but I'm adding somebody else to it, and it's literally going to be uh, some form of life coaching for people. We're gonna, It's a private membership group. You have to join it. It's a $20 membership to get into the group. Um, it's a fellowship, but we are going to rock your world, like literally set you on fire so that you no longer will be in a rut, and we deal with the most horrific things, as you guys understand. Listen, you guys know. You know what we deal with. You know we're dealing with this whole insane family court fraudulent system. So we're here to educate you on that, as you guys already know. But if, that, if you've never had a dealing with that, this is not just about that. This new group, this new group is about anything corrupt you've dealt with. It could be a person in your life that constantly harasses you. It could be a narcissist, which is primarily what we deal with, right? It could be um, school. It could be your job. It could be... Um, it could be a mother-in-law, right? It could be uh, some corrupt business that's out there. Okay, we know I what I deal with uh, with my mom, which is the fraudulent family court and the CPS child predator services. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't deal with them personally, like um, where people have had their children taken by them. No, I didn't personally deal with that. <laughs> but this is the same business. Okay, it could be church, right? It could be. There's so many things, medical, uh, forced vaccination. It could be so many different things. We're here to build you till you are the most powerful powerhouse there is. Okay, because listen, when you got a whole bunch of individuals that come together and get empowered in a, in a mighty way, um, you can kick any kind of ass, right? But I'm saying that because it's not just about that, my friends. I want to see everybody's lives prosper financially is your are your finances being hit massively is it affecting you to the point where you can't do the things that you're that you're called to do um have you lose how lost housing you know what is it what is the hits that you've been taking are you taking relentless hits 
are you, you know you're much more intelligent than the job that you have, but you're settled for a job. Join the group. We're going to help you. Because what happens is, is that you come into this thing called mindsets. Okay, and mindsets can keep you in bondage to the things that you're going through. Where's my guest? I see you on here. Get your butt on here because they need to see both of us. And so that's what we're here for you. We're going to take you through this uh, in such I don't know. Somebody like literally tried to dial me. Um, we're um, <clears throat> we're going to take you through in such a manner. We can show you. Some, somebody's dialing in and I'm trying to do a live. You actual cases, life cases, guys. So I'm trying to change my language a little bit. Turn your camera sideways, mystery guest, and get your butt on here. People are waiting for you. Uh, massive cases where we can show you um, how their lives went from fantastic. And it's not going to be the norm that you think. It's not because you went to school. It's not, I'm sorry. Everybody and their uncle is calling me. It's not because they went to school. It's not because they were rich and famous. It's not because it's the extreme opposite of that and showing how literally your life will get catapulted into good things. Okay, hold on. I think my mystery guest is here. No, my mystery guest is not here. My mystery guest is here, but she's not on. Why are you not on? Can you hit the invite? I invited you. I see you. In, I see you watching and people want to see who you are. Okay, because this name is being changed today and later today, the new group that's called, um, from victory to from victim to victory, and this is for all people. From victim to victory, um, is being changed from from victim to victory with Francesca Amato and and so and so. And I'm not going to say who. I can't resend it. You have to get out and come back in, and then invite yourself on, and I will accept you. It, it won't let me. It won't let me. So need you to do it. Okay. I need you to do it. All righty. I need you to come on, okay? So she's coming, okay? All right. So, so this is what we want to talk about, and we want to uh, do just various um, things so that um, everybody's incorporated. So the majority of obviously my viewers are people who um, have dealt with what I've just talked to you guys about, right? Family court, CPS, the whole fraudulent system. I'm also going to work into this video today. I'm also going to work into this video today something else. If you guys remember, I started the initial, um, my gosh, I started a lot of things, haven't I? I started the initial uh, uh, Global Citizens Arrest Day, did I not? And it was very, very successful, and it was in the initial stages of Punish for Protecting. And I started that whereby uh, uh, people got the opportunity to... Um, didn't, in other words, what you did is you didn't purchase any gas, you didn't purchase groceries, you didn't do shopping online, you didn't do shopping in stores, you didn't shop at Walmart, you didn't shop at Gucci, you didn't shop anywhere. And it was to arrest the country so we could raise public awareness on the effects and the abuse of the family court and what it's been doing to families. And it got a lot of attention. And basically, um, in, the, in the process of it getting a lot of attention, um, it got on media, like bigger media stations actually picked up the story. Now I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to get, I don't want to draw attention. I want to arrest these judges. We have extremely, I mean, we have literally showed everyone that these fraudulent courts are exactly a fraud. They've never been voted in. You can check federally. You can, I want you guys to get a congressional report on where these courts have ever been brought in by the people and you will not find anything, no such thing. You, so you can contact your congressman locally, and obviously in Washington, D.C., and you can say, show us where this was ever voted in by the people, and they will never be able to do that, which their mouths are going to, literally, egg will be on their face. Egg will show up on their face, because they will be like, and in shock. So they, they run every day, and they're completely a fraud. They can't tell you you can't leave the state. You're not on probation. They can't tell you anything. They're a fraud. Chris Hallett can verify. All right, so hang on. Let me get my friend on here. Let's get her on here. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why, but we should be able to do this right now. Yes, you've been invited, so you need to get off and come back on. I cannot invite you. So you need to get off and come back on. Get off and come back on. And I can't re-invite you. You've got to say, invite me, and I can accept you. Because everybody wants to know who you are right now. All right, so while we're waiting for her, let me do this for you guys. Okay. Hi, Palma. 
Hi, Palma. That's my good friend there. Uh, let me do this for you guys. Hold on. Let me do this for you guys. You guys need something nice. Here, let's do this. This is what we're doing. See? Happiness, smiles, and love. Hearts. Why am I doing that? Because I'm trying to get everybody to get out of the mindset of the horrible things most of you have been through and are going through with your children being stolen, with your children being in danger. We need to start going into a, a, a just viewing things in a different way, right? And we need to start um, girding people up and literally getting you guys so built up in faith and power that you know that you can not just fight this system. It's not just about fighting this system. It's about um, kicking this system's butt from here to eternity and throwing them in hell for what they've done to families. It's despicable what's been done to families. It's absolutely despicable. And these are crimes and we need to arrest them for it. Okay, but it's not just them. It's like this whole conglomerate, this whole business, this for-profit private business that's been operating for years uh, is, is beyond wicked. I need that card, honey. Is beyond wicked. It's beyond wi uh, evil. And it runs everything in our country. That's just the thing that you guys have to understand. All right. Are you getting on now? I need you to get on. I don't know if you're not turning your camera sideways. If you turned your camera sideways, not up and down, you should be able to invite yourself on and I can pull you on this live right now. All right. All right. I'm glad people are enjoying this is important because what I have right now is great. We should be able to get on here. Um, it won't let you. It won't let you. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to show you guys. I don't know if you guys remember. Hi, Nancy. I don't know if you guys remember, but me and Corinne, we did something called Coffee Talk, right, with Francesca and Corinne. Well, Corinne is going to be joining me. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, and, and you guys used to get a lot of laughs at the way we would put, just do our whole show. And, you know, we would um, we would do our interviews and we would talk about all the different topics. You know, uh, we, would, we would talk about, I'll give you one example. One of the topics we talked about was parental alienation. But with parental alienation, we talked about what it really is. See, the courts alienate a parent for protecting a child, and they alienate a parent based on false allegations. So the word and term alienation, for example, just simply means taking somebody away from something, alienating them, taking them away, erasing them, okay? But in parental alienation, that term has also been abused, and it's generally abused by an abuse party will say that that person's alienating me, when in fact all they're doing is protecting children protecting their children because that's what you do as a normal human being. So we correct it. We don't just say it's this and it's just that and that's all it is because that would be a wrong thing to say. What we do is we show you what it is. And so someone, for example, like Corinne, she has genuinely been alienated. She is a mother who absolutely loves her kids and does everything for them and has been, you can't even imagine what this guy has done to her Turn. and the judge and the judge. Okay, the judge too, because I've watched this, this psychotic judge. And I have some good news, and I'm not going to say who just yet, but there's a judge that can well, be completely kicked out in January in, a, in the state of New York, and I'm hoping on a second one, because that judge has gone after mothers and separate and has one pattern of abuse after the other. Where? Has one pattern of abuse after the other. I have to go to the bank. Has one pattern of abuse after the other, um, doing this to, to specifically mothers in this case. This happens Mom. to mothers and fathers. Mom, this happens there. to mothers and fathers. Oh, he's back there? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's done this to, I didn't realize that, honey. He's done this to both mothers and fathers. I mean, this particular judge had done it to mothers, but this happens to mothers and fathers. And it's in my experience, experience uh, with this entire system that this has been done to, to parents that are good. Good parents, loyal, faithful, good providers, mothers and fathers that love their children, mothers and fathers that report abuse, mothers and fathers that have to, had to deal with the false allegation syndrome uh, from 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 the system and from the other parent that does this, um, or or married couples that are happy, couples that are happy that are together, couples that love each other and love their children now have been fiercely attacked through CPS and people making false allegations or just a crazy system. Now, vaccinations, I just want to tell you guys, my sister is an expert. She she and another expert will be on next week, and I will have it live premiering off of my, uh, off of this page and off of YouTube for you guys to watch. Learn your rights. RN. They have shown our rights that they have absolutely no right to tell you that you have to force vaccinations on your children. Now in the state of New York, they're trying to now in the state of New York, 
Now in the state of New York, they're trying to uh, say that if you have five or more homeschoolers in your group, that they have to get vaccinated. I mean, it's the stupidest thing ever. And my sister, being an expert, is going to show you how wrong it is. Um, not just the, the, what I say. I joke around and I talk about how stupid a kid can never... Uh, an unvaccinated kid can never harm a vaccinated kid if your vaccines work. But the other the other illogic that they try to say, and my sister's going to blow it out of the water, is that your child that's unvaccinated can get something from another per, another kid that uh, comes in. Ignorant. The, I know what you told me. The other thing that is so ignorant, um, I know that's what, what you've been told, and I'm that's what my but Tony Aunt Tony's going to fix, and she's going to explain it publicly. So you guys are going to definitely want to watch because you're going to want to know the truth. I post all over my page children that are older, that have been killed. They're on my page. Go look up and down my page. P babies that are brand new healthy babies that have been killed um, after vaccinations. Killed. Um, and then she's going to talk about the fact of those of us as adults that were vaccinated as kids and what harms it's caused. She's going to talk about it because she can speak about this in a medical way. Okay, and so can... Um, the, the expert that's going to be on as well, which a matter of fact, give me one second so I can get his name for you because I just lost my train of thought. Hang on one second. I'm sorry about that. So Frank Torcelli is going to be on. Look him up. He is very well, well known expert. And my sister and him are going to smash every single vaccination lie that's out there. Um, every lie that they're telling, they're not about your health. They're not about your children's health. This is a dangerous, dangerous thing to force vaccinations on anybody, children or otherwise, it is very dangerous. And you've all been lied to for so long. And you're going to know that the people that are teaching you about the harms of vaccinations were not foaming from the mouth, not hearing voices, were not dumb, were not stupid, were not, um, we don't neglect our children. As, as a matter of fact, on the contra on the contraire, we are, we are intelligent, not foaming from the mouth, <laughs> Uh, non-criminals, non-stupid uh, people that actually love our kids and have done the research and are, are educated and know the truth about the dangers of vaccination. Okay? So um, it is important that you guys definitely are going to watch this live and it should be on, I believe, early next week or the end of, yeah, early uh, this week, I think. Is it this week? I think it's mid to mid this week. But anyway, I'll post it on Facebook, I promise you, so you guys are aware. Sorry about that. My son had to just go. He's going back to the skate park now. Um, so you guys will be aware. Now, let me just try and get this, um, get Corinne on here. I don't know what's happening with this, because we have a lot to share about what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening with it, but um, we have a lot that we're going to be doing um, with regards to... Um, our, our new group and the new group is called from victim to victory and those of you that are watching listen we're going to be touching every single topic and we are going to there's going to be massive changes in people's lives from the things that they've endured and suffered so let's see why am i not able to get corinne on here yeah it says that i invited you and i don't know why i cannot invite you a second time i don't understand it your phone should be turned sideways and we should be able to get you on here. I don't know why. I think that's Linda on here. Stacy, hi Stacy. Uh, let's see. Hi Bianca Jones, nice to see you on. Hi Cynthia. Hi, hi Jess, glad to see you on. Esther, uh, Jess, stay on because I know you know all about. I haven't. But I'm very happy about that judge because it was because of you and your family. That, that that low life judge, and if you want to come on and talk about it, is no longer going to be. And I and the thing is, is that it's not. I don't want to see them just like kicked from the bench, because that's still not fair. Okay, they are criminals. I mean, I don't know if you guys actually realize these judges are criminals. This is treason. This is treason. I mean, you know, if you haven't done the research, you don't realize what we're talking about here. This is absolute and utter treason. And um, and I'll explain to you. It's never been voted in, so the court runs as a court, and it's not, okay? If anything, it's a Title I tribunal. They have no right. They sit there and they lie about people. It is disgusting and despicable what goes on all across this country, all across this country, and um, I see it. I, I see it because I'm one of the people who actually sits in the courts and watches these crazy bozos.
cannot hold you back. Like they cannot do any of the things that they're doing, arresting innocent families. I've got a mother and I've got two moms in prison right now in prison. I mean, they're freaking sick what they're doing. And guards calling me saying this is so wrong, so wrong, but we got them. So let me tell you what's happening while I'm waiting for Corinne to come on. Let me tell you what's happening. I got everybody calling. I can't even believe my phone has literally rang the whole time I've been on here. If they're not calling through Facebook, they're calling through the phone. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. I guess because of the, the shadow ban, people are not being alerted that I'm live. Um, and I need you guys to go and hit C first so that you never miss a live. That's another issue. Um, and now that the shadow ban, it's not completely obviously over because of my numbers, but um, it should be a whole lot better than this. And so it's definitely gotten better though. But um, so what I was trying to say is that Right now, let me tell you about the state of New York. But as you guys know, I'm a national advocate, not just New York. I handle every state. And so um, you guys are aware of that. But right now, New York is shaking, shaking, shaking. I have Anthony McGinty on public record. We've got um, we've got uh, judges in New York City on public record, judges in Niagara Falls. I have to look at the list. On public record, I have Amy Ingram, child attorney, on public record. Uh, Andy Gilday on public record. I'm naming these because I know these particular names, obviously. Uh, they're also in my book. So, but like I've got, um, oh God, what are some of the names of these judges that we have on public record? Judge Pearl is on public record. McGuire is on public record. Um, uh, Mizell is on public record. Savona is on public record. Um, so attorneys are on public record right now with the state assembly. Okay, I'll be speaking in New York, I believe in both Albany and New York City coming up in this, this month, which I will announce for sure. Um, and, we, and I'm literally going to knock it out of the water because, see, they're trying to reform this. And that is not the answer. Reform is not the answer. Reform is not the answer. And that's why I wanted to come on here today. And I'm really disappointed because I really wanted you on, Corinne. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Please try it again. I really want you on right now because we're, we're doing this to motivate you and encourage you and set fi set you guys literally on fire. Okay. And your fire will cause others to catch fire. That's what we want. Okay. And that's what this group is about. And of course, like I'm trying to say, it's not just about what we our, our general topic. It's anything, it's anything, but you know, I sit here and I think, and I contemplate and I look at so many different things. I, I'm the kind of a person that like, I observe a lot throughout life. I watch things. I, I, I watch. I like to watch and see what's happening in certain circumstances and situations and throughout life. And I and just from seeing this that we fight for every day and what's been happening and how it's a crime. These are crimes. We have laws that are supposed to protect families. And there's so much more to it. And it's like not to try to pile too much stuff on you guys, but like we understand that like we are a constitutionally based society. However, the Constitution really is not even in effect and I'm not saying that because I'm against it. I'm for it, but it's technically not. So they use it when they want to. They don't use it when they want to. And it's very offensive to families and to people on a whole. And it's very sad that the most important uh, conversations, the most important things that speak the most truth are the most censored, okay, uh, are the most silenced. Um, and it's, it's really quite sad that that goes on. And this is so important to everybody. Like everybody, uh, families don't even realize it doesn't matter. You know, if you're super, super wealthy, let's say for example, and you've got access to everything and you've got political connections and so on and so forth, and you think that you're exempt from being harmed, no, that you're not. But if you've done a lot of like crooked stuff and you're corrupt too, and you're um, a part of that kind of a system, you may be protected a little bit longer, but see what's happening now is that they're starting to tell on each other. And they're throwing each other under the bus. And that's why we're seeing so much. Have you ever in the history of time ever, ever seen so much child trafficking um, coming out? Have you ever seen, has anybody ever seen so much child trafficking, um, uh, you know, being exposed? Has anybody, like, can anybody answer that? <coughs> it started out with Epstein. And now, like, every time you look, you're seeing more caseworkers, attorneys, judges, whomever, uh, people from schools, police, <coughs> excuse me, um, uh, you're seeing uh, school teachers, um, politicians being exposed and being arrested for child trafficking right now. Well, why? Why? The reason why you're seeing all these people being arrested for child trafficking is because let's look at all the people that are exposing it right now. <coughs> excuse me. Right? So that's why we're seeing something we have never seen in the history of time especially like this, and it's just going to keep happening. Now, one of the words that I spoke was indictments. 
<coughs> sorry, there's like dust in the in the heater and I turned it on in the car. Indictments are something that you're going to start seeing a lot more of in some of the highest levels of politicians, okay? When you do the kind of work that we do and we are we are like David put Congress on notice and now it's going through Donald Trump and like all this stuff is happening and he's being attacked and all this stuff that's going on. You got to keep watching. Sometimes you just have to observe. You just have to sit back and kind of just watch what's happening. Watch how it plays out. You know, sometimes I liken it to a, a, a zit in puberty. When a kid has a zit in puberty and it's nasty looking. And they go to squeeze it. And so as they squeeze it, like all that comes out. And then it still looks bad. And then it heals up and then it clears. So when you're looking at all of that, it's kind of hard to see the skin underneath that. The skin is really beautiful. So all you see is all this ugly. <clears throat> and you might be saying the person is ugly. Right? But the person's not ugly. It's this. It's what you're seeing with that pimple that's squeezed out and being moved out. And then the poison is, you know, all the junk and gunk is leaving, right? Well, it's the same thing with what we're seeing right now. Like, all this child trafficking, they're, they're attacking Trump. They're attacking this and that. But at the same time, it's those that are uh, doing the attacking that are actually those that are the guilty parties. Child trafficking is the most disgusting and serious thing that we should all be focused on right now. Children are being trafficked in your families. Your children are being trafficked in your families. I mean, people didn't even understand that child trafficking doesn't just mean sexual trafficking. It means moving them from one place to, to another. It means having the children lie because they're afraid of an abuser. It, child trafficking means uh, moving them from, you know, coming into somebody's house based on a false allegation, having CPS come to your door based with no warrant, Taking your children and then going to court a couple days later. That's trafficking. That's trafficking. By a system that was never voted in. Like I just got done saying, contact your Congress. Contact every Congress member and get them to find, get them to find it where we actually voted that in. They can't. There will be no congressional record. None. There will be no state record. There will be no federal record. There will be no record of that. And why will there be no record? Because we never voted it in. The system's a fraud. The system's fake. The system's not, the system's a fraud. Those of you that are moving and shaking, that's wonderful. What about the rest of you? Is everybody doing something? Is everybody that's watching this right now, is everybody that will watch this right now doing something about this? Or are you just going about your life because you think you're exempt? You're not exempt. No one's exempt. No one's exempt. We all have a moral um, obligation to make this go away and not just to stop it, not just to get the judge that's coming down and he's not allowed to work anymore as a judge starting January. That's why are they waiting till January? If anybody else commits a crime like this, they don't wait and say, keep your job until January. Okay. Yes, we're happy. We're satisfied that something very serious got taken care of <clears throat> and we're happy that he's being dealt with, but we're not fully satisfied. Why aren't we? Because it's not justice in this case. Why isn't it justice? Well, when this particular judge in this case, like I said, it was against mothers and children. Um, and I'm never going to say that I'm, this is not pro mother or father. I'm for good parents. There should be mothers and fathers working together to take care of their children together when, when it, when it, when it should be, that's how it should be. Okay. But but in a case like this, this particular guy just went after woman, after woman, after woman, after woman, and every single father got custody. Every single father got custody. Some mothers got no rights to their children at all, zero. They didn't do anything wrong, okay? There was nothing on these mothers. There wasn't drug use. There wasn't a criminal history. There wasn't any abuse. There wasn't anything, okay? Uh, a lot of times they'll use the coaching terminology that we know is the biggest bunch of bull out there. Coaching is not even a thing, Okay, it's a very, very difficult thing to actually diagnose and prognose is coaching because you'd have to really be there firsthand knowledge. You'd have to witness this firsthand knowledge. You'd have to have psych evals behind it, all kinds of stuff. And they can't just say it and they just say it and they just do it and they just get away with it. And that's wrong. Oh my God, it's so detrimental. That's trafficking, by the way. Again, that's trafficking. Okay, so try to understand. Trafficking, moving people for money. This is all a money system. This system is money. It's all based in money. It's based in the mighty dollar. That's the reason why they don't do the, the right job. That's the reason that you can keep reforming till you're blue in the face. That's the reason you can bring as many forensic psychologists in as you want, and you're still going to be dealing with a money trail that doesn't care about you, you or your children, and that will steal everything. Hey, Corinne understands the real estate fraud behind all of this. 
This is very corrupt. It's based in so much corruption. And that's why I say when you guys are watching, if you've never dealt with a family court or CPS, don't think you're exempt because you could get divorced tomorrow. And the next thing you know, you're finding yourself out in the street because he got the house or she got the house and you're like, what just happened here? And then even though it's your marital assets and there are laws that are supposed to protect you, you've lost everything and you're like, how did this happen? I put in just as much time, if not more time. Maybe he was the breadwinner. Maybe she was the breadwinner. But the other person that stayed in the house took care of everything. That's a that's not a nine to five job. That's a that's a 24 hour to, a day job to raise the kids in the home, to supply the home with everything that's necessary to keep the home clean. That's a job. OK, so they just come in and because they know that they can make money off of your home, they're stealing houses, too. You don't think it happens? Sometimes the most obvious thing in front of your face is the most corrupt thing that you ever looked at and you didn't even know that it was happening. It's happening. This is happening. I watch it happen. I see it happen. I see what's happening. <clears throat> so all of this can affect you. It affects you. Ah, some of you have children in jail or prison. Because they never had a fair trial. They did not have due process. Okay? This is a... We, our, our court system is wicked. Our court system is not working right. And again, we didn't vote it in. Very important to know that if we didn't vote something in, and we're supposed to have voted it in, a lawless society, guys. We have a society that's lawless. Okay? We have a society that's not working for the people very dangerous. So you say to me, okay, Fran, but like, if we had this society, what would happen if we were to remove all these rules and regulations? You say to me, Fran, what happens if we stopped policing? What happens if we stopped having judges and we stopped having this? Well, geez, guys, how's it working for you? How has this been working for you? It's not working. It's not working. Crime is on the rise. Drugs are everywhere. There's not a family, unless you're holistic like my family, very seldom, there's not a family out there that doesn't have drugs in their family, whether it be prescription or street drugs in the family. Why? Identity crisis, big time identity crisis when you keep ripping apart biological families or because it's not just one thing or the other, or you keep placing children in the hands of danger or a dangerous parent or back and forth from a safe to a danger, safe to a danger, safe to a danger. A dangerous parent may not physically punch the child, but they're physically telling the child and emotionally causing all kinds of damage, telling that child that the good parent, the safe parent, the parent that loves them, the parent that protects them is bad in some way. And it causes that child psychological damages and scarring. And when you start to get into research of ACEs and all the other types of psychological damages that it does to the children, you start to see just how damaging it is and why we have such a drug epidemic in this country suicide rate in children has increased tremendously i posted that today too the suicide rate in children has increased i think it's 10 to 17 percent higher <clears throat> you'd have to go look and so well why do you think this is happening do you think it's just happening randomly it's just happening no it's happening because it always comes back down to an insane judge is making decisions that they have no right to make in the first place. They have no jurisdiction over you. And it's all going to come out. And judges like Anthony McGinty will be behind bars. It's happening. You see, Title 18, Section 242 actually says, this is what the law says. I'm not saying this. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not saying that we as human beings are going to do this. But the law, if you read in Title 18, Section 242, clearly states that they are supposed to be hung for treason. Now, as human beings that we are, we want them in jail because that would make it an appropriate judicial system. The only way that vindication and recompense would be given back to the people for all these damages is that they go to jail, prison, I shouldn't have a mother, Trinisha Biggers, WWE wrestler, whose page has been taken down. I've had two prisons now contact me telling me that what she's going through is absolutely wrong and that they will support and do anything they can. The WWE turned their back on her. Okay? This mother had a protection order and custody and was under duress. And instead of them doing the right thing and protecting her and the children, they gave the children to him because it's a military issue. We'll get into more of this eventually. And I'm telling you what's happening. And I put the live out. It's on my YouTube channel, Punish for Protecting, if you want to know what happened to her and what's happening to her. 
And she's terrified to go to Texas. And why is she terrified? Because she's afraid they're going to kill her. And she's not insane. She's completely, completely normal and fine. She was beaten to unrecognizable in her model face. She was beaten in front of the children by him. And he has the kids. And when I say he's got both kids, they have two different dads, but the two dads are working together. And they're not allowed to be together. And they're not allowed to be with him. But yet the court gave the children to him, even though there was a protection order in place with the children's names on it. Does this sound logical to you? What? Who, where's the communication gap? This is where Fran comes in, in, in the middle of this. This is what I do. When I get into these courts and I get into these cases, I speak the bridge language. The language between that's a fraud and the human being that's being that's being victimized and re-victimized i speak the bridge that's what the consults are for that's what the timeline is for it speaks the bridge the language that misses the big gap from here to here and then you know what happens when communication is amiss big big problems happen when there's no communication from here to here and when this is corrupt this is corrupt human being are over here victims are over here god says that we're supposed to fight for victims that's what God tells us in our in his word. We are supposed to fight for victims. So go to church every Sunday if you want. Go Wednesday night, Sunday, Saturday. Live inside the church buildings, but do nothing out here. What are you helping? Keep hearing the messages, but what are you doing? Are you living it? Okay. Now we find out that a lot of these churches are all a part of the child trafficking industry. So they're, they're encouraging foster care. Very bad. God didn't tell us to foster out kids. God never told us to leave, give biologicals to unbios. No, because it's a selling market, child trafficking. Child trafficking. It's a child trafficking industry. I don't know how much more I have to explain it, okay, but I will. And that's why we did the congressional hearing. That's why Robert had us get before Congress. That's why we put all of Congress is now on notice and what we need from you. And YouTube, Punished for Protecting. Look up the child trafficking briefing where we put Congress on notice. In the first line underneath that YouTube video, watch it. Learn what we did. There's a, there's um, there's uh, instructions. Very simple for you to call your local and congressman. It doesn't have to even be your own. And say that you support what we're doing. And why it is that? It's why is that so important? That's so important because you know what that means. That means that we want the system abolished. It's a corrupt system. We want the system abolished and we want them arrested. How can this continue to go on like this if this doesn't happen in this manner? How can they still continue to open the doors on Monday morning? Today, they're open right now, destroying the lives of families all over our country. And how can we, the people, allow this to happen when, listen, number one, the system's a fraud. I just got done telling you. All you got to do is find out. Find out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Go and contact the con uh, any Congress members and say, can you order? Can you show me where the people voted it in? And they'll be like, uh, well, we'll look for it. Uh, can you show me? Hey, God, can you, can you, can you find out where the congressional order? No, to bring it because it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Okay. Number two, number two, when we speak before legislative meetings, notice how they don't let us say judges' names. Excuse me. That is a public meeting. We should have every right to speak their names. Now the assembly has these judges in the state of New York. You can do this in every state. Okay. In the state of New York, they're trying to reform the courts. They want to abolish. They're listening to our words. They want to abolish the courts. They are listening to our words. We say we want to, the kids need to have a voice. They want to start giving the kids a voice, but they're doing it wrong. And that's where I'm going to speak in New York because it's not, that's not what we're asking for. We're not asking for reform. We want to abolish period. We do not want to merge the courts together. If families have an issue, there needs to be mediation, not court hearings with orders that are bull. Because we didn't vote it in, so it doesn't exist. If we vote it in, that's different. And who the hell will vote it in now? It's all a political campaign, okay? So you've got the different political parties that politically want these judges in, that run unopposed. All you need is one vote to vote a judge in that's running unopposed. He can say, I'm voting for myself, and here I am, and I'm the judge. People aren't voting these judges in. They don't want them. They don't trust them. And when they find one that they actually like, if a human being is actually running, that person doesn't get on the bench. And if they do get on the bench, the second they got on the bench, they are their soul was sold into this corporation. Listen carefully. This private for profit business. Are you inviting your friends onto here? Do you want do you care about your neighbor right now? Do you care about your neighbor right now? If some right now while we're doing this live, I guarantee you somebody's kid is being taken right now, being stolen right now. I guarantee you somebody's child just died. 
I guarantee you. So are you inviting your friends to this? Because what I'm talking about right here is way more important, way more important than some of the crap I see on Facebook. Some of the disgusting things I see on Facebook that, that gets thousands and thousands of views of just complete, utter uh, mind uh, deception and uh, mind control nonsense that people go and go, oh, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Ooh, look at that. All these people are smoking pot right now. Cool, man. Yeah, let's just burn our brain cells because that's more important. No, this is the most important topic. This is the most important topic that there is out there. This is the most important thing because this has to do with your families being forced to vaccinate your kids. This has to do with being forced to many things. We just brought back segregation. Do you guys understand that because of the crazy, because of the crazy governors in California, New York, and so on, we just brought segregation. So kids can't play together if they have vaccinated and unvaccinated. We can't play together. Think about the logic behind that. How dare we go backwards? We're not going forward. We're not evolving like they want you to believe. No, we've just gone way backwards. Way backwards. Eradicated diseases, diseases that don't exist. They mock you that you use essential oils. But, you know, have you noticed the difference between healthy and unhealthy, though? It's not about um, vaccinated and unvaccinated. It's about healthy and unhealthy. Have you ever looked at the medical records of unvaccinated kids compared to vaccinated kids? It's so simple. I mean, I can tell you, vaccinated kids have 6 to 12 ear infections and sore throats. See their doctor once a year, healthy. Usually just to get into school, but now they're being segregated. This is what's happening in our country. Child trafficking. Child trafficking. So, I don't know if you guys really understand the fullness of what I'm trying to tell you and what we've been trying to tell you, but um, to be held in bondage by your child... By having a corporation that wants to own you and you don't even want to be informed about the fact that you're being owned and controlled and abused. Let me read what you're saying. It's a shame that this is happening to our families in this country. It is an absolute shame. It is an absolute shame. And it's just something that I work with as well. Another lovely family going through hell, unable to protect in her case, her grandchildren, her fa the father is unable to protect his children, his biological children, given to an unbiological, insane, absurd, a family that well provides for these kids, loves them, gives them everything, has every means to do everything for them, and is being destroyed, in that particular case, Orange County, okay? I mean, I know all the cases, I know the families, I sit in their houses in New York, I come to their homes hang out, talk. It's sick. It's sick. It's sick. Now, I'm not saying this to be negative, and I'm, I'm saying this because uh, uh, we, we, we're, kicking, we're kicking ass, okay? We're kicking ass all over the place, but we're still, we still have a battle uh, waging, okay? I still know of the uh, SWAT teams that are circul circling people's homes, banging on doors, holding guns, and taking little ones. That's sick, guys. That should happen. If that ever country in this nation it should never ever ever happen again and yet it's happening every freaking day it's happening every freaking day and that's why i need you guys to boost it up a little bit tell everybody share this let people know invite your friends lists how many has 200 friends do you have 5,000 friends do you have 3,000 friends help me right now because i was shadow banned to let them know that i'm here okay because this message is urgent and they don't want it out. They don't want this this out. Because most people will say CPS, 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 and everybody hates them. There's that stereotype that if CPS is called on you, you're a bad parent. It's got nothing to do with you being a bad parent. Because when children are abused and CPS shows up, they leave the kids in an abusive home. In a genuinely abusive home, they leave the kids. They leave the kids, okay? There's no money in not keep... Like in other words, there's more money in them having somebody else call them again and again and keep investigating, okay? Until the child is dead, okay? Um, so, and then putting, like, the family through the quote-unquote family court. So you got, like, let's say a grandmother really cares about the kids and now there's family court. They know they got you, so there's more money in that. They're not going to take those kids. They're going to leave them. You understand how that works? So they, they, when the family starts fighting from them, this is good. Now we got them in the family court. Now we own them. We've got them in this bondage. Matter of fact, David Jose was in a restaurant, overheard judges say we got them till they're dead. 
Okay. <laughs> Eating lunch. We got them till they're dead. Doesn't that piss you off? Does, I, I would have literally walked over to the food and spit on their food. And I would have walked away. I wouldn't have said two words. I would have walked over, spit on the food, and walked away. That's what I would have done. Oh, you got, you got people till they're dead? You piece of garbage. That's what you say? You judge? How disgusting. How vile. Right? But that's what they said. So what are we doing about it? Like, what are you guys doing about it? What are you guys doing about it? So um, congressional hearing. Get that. Contact. Tell them you're in full support. Tell everybody you know. It's very important. Hudoc.info. Now, these are two different things. Hudoc won an award, okay? And it's open to the public. And you have a deadline. And it's December, I think, 15th. December 25th? December 24th? Something like that. It's on the, it's on the website. Hudoc.info. Go there and opt yourselves in and get your get you and your family the protections and learn what your immunity is. Learn so you understand these protections because everybody needs them. Everybody needs them. Like I said, I don't care how wealthy, how poor, or anything in between you are. Don't think you're exempt because you're not exempt from this abuse from the system. Now, on the other hand, we're doing what I said we're doing. Uh, I, I give this out here to expose it, to raise awareness, to educate you, to have you understand what's happening. But these are negative things. You don't want to hear this sometimes, right? But you have to. You have to have the warnings. Listen, if, if God is saying, don't go down that road, don't go down that road, this is this, this is bad, this is bad, and you go, you're going to get hurt, right? So we're here to give the warnings. On the other side, there's, there's, uh, we're doing the web, we, we do the, the page that's on here. I'll share it again. Um, it's on my Facebook page. It's called From Victim to Victory. Uh, Corinne's going to be helping me with that. And it's going to be very motivational, very encouraging. It's going to help you in every aspect of your life. We want to take you out of the muck and the mire and catapult you into your genuine calling so that you're not restrained anymore. Okay? It's very difficult to go through these kinds of battles. These are horrible things. Anything pertaining to your children is absolutely horrible. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Okay, recently, Kara, because she had PTSD, they took her child, and now this little boy is dead. Okay, this is what we deal with every single day all over this nation. All right, if you look, you'll see. You'll see how many children have died in foster care. I, I posted how many children are taken in foster care. Go look, I've got every single state listed, every amount of children. It is outrageous, and it is sick, okay? And so many of you are are so beaten by this or other or other types of corruption in society that has harmed you that has harmed you and we, so we try to get you built up individually and then corporately so we can fight this okay but i want to look to the future to a better day does that make sense to a day where you're not afraid to a day where you fight to a day where you are built up again, to a day where your money is not being stolen, to a day where you're prospering, you're prospering in all ways, financially, health-wise, family above all, your children above all, right? Where you're prospering. And because so many are so constantly in fight and flight mode, battling, battling, trying to figure it out, trying to figure out how to save and protect your kids because the system... Okay, being in bondage to a system. Oh my goodness, God is rebuking them so hard. So hard. And that's another th reason we're doing the private group. Special prayer and praying against this corruption, this wickedness, holding you by your heart, your child, your children, while they abuse. It's not going it, to, that day, let me tell you, like, I know God's grace and mercy is stronger than any of ours, but I'm telling you, this is, these people are, they are, it's beyond. Don't listen to these, listen to something too. Don't listen to these churches that say that there's no judgment. There's no, there is major for that. God wouldn't be fair and just if there wasn't. Okay. Sometimes I don't understand why things stretch so long, but I do know that when they get there, when their day does come, boy, does it come and it comes so hard. It comes so fast, so furious and so bad that, um, what is she saying? I am with something I can't read that said um it, it comes so fast and right now that's what's happening these judges are going to get the crap knocked out of them okay I promise you that these lying attorneys the crap will be knocked out of them okay they're not going to be able to continue to do what they're doing anymore okay you're seeing some of the biggest fall right now 
once they're caught, they're caught. I mean, I know, I, I have specific stuff that I'm being told to just wait a little bit longer, so I am. But when it comes out, judges that are so, too drunk to drive, judges that are on cocaine, okay, with videos and footage and pictures and the whole nine, they're destroyed. Stupid to have ever messed with me. You mess with me and it comes public. It's, it's just like that. You mess with me, and there it will be public, publicized. And it's going to get publicized anyway. It's going to get publicized anyway. So, you know, but it's not just me, okay? It's all these other families that, these particular judges that we have footage on, that they, the harm that they've caused. Haven't you guys noticed, have you seen it, like, all over Facebook, judges arrested for DWIs and stuff like that? It's because they know they're guilty. They know they're guilty, so they're having fun, they're making their... They don't care who they're hurting, but at the end of the day, they're drinking. Why? At the end of the day, they're coking up. Why? Why are they doing that? To numb what they've been doing to families. Okay? Could you imagine being that person, that nine to five, you know you're destroying families intentionally and you don't care, and there's nobody that's looking at you going, you're doing wrong here. You're doing wrong. You shouldn't do this. Could you imagine being that person? When you go to your Christmas party and you're too drunk to drive, so you disrespectfully tell people to, to drive you, you disrespectfully tell people, you know, whatever, instead of being kind and asking for, a, you know, it's one thing if you're too drunk to drive and you ask somebody to, you know, be nice and to drive you or whatever, but you're coked up and you're drugged up and you're drunk because you have the, the most wickedest uh, conscience out there. And it's not just a Christmas party. You, you, this is how you live your life. This is how you live your life, and this is what we have footage of. Okay, let's see. Dark is coming out. Wicked is being expo exposed. That's right, uh, Cynthia. That's right. Yes, David's saying, arrest like crazy. Hi, Yvette. I see you on. Uh, now, we really wanted Corinne on here. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed about that. Um... What is Holly saying about cannabis? I want to read that. because She knows I agree with her. Cannabis is medicine where quality is preserved. We are actually cannabis deprived, but can have pharma and alcohol. That's right. I agree. You know I agree with that. Um, okay. So we need to up our games, my friend. Get on the new page. If you want to go from victim to victory, please join us. Um, it's from victim to victory. It's on my page. It is a $20 membership to get inside the group. Um, and then you'll see things each week. There'll be things each week. And then there'll be individual stuff that um, we'll talk about once you guys are in the group. Um, I, there's people that are joining and I'm not home right now. My son is having a great day. He's uh, getting lots of exercise. He's homeschooled. It's really, really sad. I posted it on my Facebook page that these children, when they're homeschooled, they have no interaction with the outside world, according to people that want to attack homeschooling. How ignorant how ignorant. So that means that your children in the summer just, they have nothing to do, nobody to talk to because it's summer and there's no school. School is the only way your children can interact with other human beings. So, I mean, I just, the things I hear and I, and sometimes I'm just like floored. I'm absolutely floored. I'm absolutely floored by ignorance. Ignorance has ruled our world for too long. And I just, uh, Yes, everything is attached to our birth certificate and social security numbers. So please go to hudoc.info, opt in for your immunity, go to my YouTube for protecting. Guys, if you don't hit that bell, you'll never know when I'm live. <laughs> this is, these are all news to me. So I'm going to be using that page all more often. I have it because I literally was, as you guys saw, I was shadow banned. <laughs> so uh, here I am. Uh, I'm sad that Corinne couldn't come on. Hopefully we'll get this worked out. Maybe later today I'll go on hers or something. We'll figure it out. Um, but we do our little coffee talk, uh, thing and it's really a lot of fun. Uh, we goof around. Um, we like to bring some joy to you guys. You need it. Uh, join the group from victim to victory. Be get it, become victorious. Do not just let them destroy you. Do not let them just make you a victim. Sometimes the most fiercest time in life is when you go through such a serious battle that something rises up in you and you just kick some major butt and that's what I believe is happening do you notice that the people that are in the front lines that are the strongest advocates went through something 
went through something. They had to fight this very battle in order to win it and conquer it in order to gain. And God gives anointing and authority over these demons because that's what they are. They are demons. Okay. And uh, God gives anointing and authority over it when you win in the battle. When you win in the battle, that's how you're able to knock them out. So that's what's happening now. That's what's happening now. Um, that's all I'm going to say today. I apologize that Corinne couldn't make it on. Um, but I thank you guys for watching. This will premiere on YouTube later. Um, so please join that channel. Thank you again for watching. And remember, I need you to hit C first on this page because the shadow ban, I guess what it did is I had all these people coming to me saying that when they went back, they had me at C first and it hit them over to default. Um, it's amazing what goes on. It really is. But I will keep talking and I will keep making this happen because it's not just through Facebook, as you know. And November 12th, 7 million viewers will get to see me exposing child trafficking industry through the door, which is the gateway door, which is family court. It's family court. It's family court. So let's get ready. Pay attention to my pages because we're going to be talking about citizens arrest day. We want the judges arrested, arrested, arrested. No other way. Arrested. And they're not really judges, by the way. You guys in comments want you to put what they really are. God bless each and every one of you.